Okay, so uh, as you saw there, we were milling out the holes in these spindles. You can see here they're egg-shaped in so that you can fit the cobalt hub in it. Let me flip this over so you can see it here. See, this, this is what you're basically what you're trying to do. You're egging out those holes so that you can get the bolts in for the cobalt hub. All right, so you saw us do it on the mill. Um, that's kind of the fancy way to do it. You can uh, just as easily do it with a die grinder like this with a burr bit. You can do it that way. Uh, we like the mill because it removes the least amount of material possible. It's a little bit more precise. Um, some guys just put a bigger drill bit and drill the hole out larger so that they can get the bolts in. But this is basically what you're trying to accomplish. And then in a minute here, I'll show you what we got to grind for the caliper mount. Okay, for the second part of the G6 spindle swap, you've got to grind your caliper bracket. You see this nub right here? That's got to go bye-bye to work with the G6 spindles. This one's already done. Just grind that down flush, and then it should bolt right on. After this, I'll show you the tie rods. Step three, cut a half inch off the end of your tie rod. Right there. And that's it for the G6 spindle swap on the Chevy Cobalt. Pretty simple, not complicated. Um, way stronger than stock. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a different Cobalt than I was videotaping the other day. This is my car. I forgot to do a uh, video after we put it all back together, but it's already done on my car. So same thing, all back together, ready to go. Good luck out there, guys.